I am currently hiking to one of my favorite remote locations in Florida where over the next two days I'm going to be fanning to find fossils and while I have discovered megalodon teeth, megalodon shark teeth in this general area, this spot is a treasure trove of Ice Age fossils. So hopefully over the next two days I'll be able to find some mammoth and mastodon remains and even camel, llama, bison, ground sloth. So all I have to do right now is figure out how to get through this set of bogs in the heart of the Florida wilderness. And once I do, I'll be able to show you all the incredible prehistoric treasure you can find out here. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and stick with me as I get down to the river. my favorite hidden locations in Florida. I have so many memories from these few bends. The water level is as low as it's been all year and I am ready to jump in there and do what I love and find some awesome prehistoric fossils to show you guys. So stick with us as we get in the water, get nice and wet and find some really cool stuff. All right, it's time to officially do this and get in the water for the first time today. That is an incredibly well-preserved extinct horse tooth from the genus Equus. This is from an older individual, because normally their teeth are about that long, so you would have worn it down eventually to this point right here. It's also got nice developed roots, which you don't normally see in horse teeth. Very good piece of history. Sweet. Giant tortoise spur, nice one too. There's that giant armadillo osteoderm, or scoot. Osteoderm is derived from Latin, osteo meaning bone, and derm meaning scale, so bony scale. And so giant armadillos, glyptodons, regular armadillos, gators, they all have osteoderms, which are these bony scales they use for protection. Really cool piece. You have got to be kidding me. I've been here for maybe 10 minutes fanning, and I think I already have a mastodon tooth. It's right underneath this ledge right here. Let's go see. I think it's a worn down mastodon tooth. I really hope it's whole, but we don't know yet. <sighs> I've got the tooth mostly exposed. Let's go take a look at it. That is an adult tooth, heavily worn down. I'm gonna carefully cut around it with my fingers and then I'll bring it out and you guys will see how awesome this tooth is. I am so excited, I can't believe it's only been 10 minutes and we already struck gold. It even has the full roots. I've got it more exposed and it is looking so good. Oh. 
All right, I think I have it completely exposed. I'm ready to grab it. It looks beautiful. Let's do this. Wow. Oh my god. I can't even stay balanced. That is freaking amazing. Look at this tooth. Full, full roots. Show the camera over here. This tooth is amazing. It's so heavy and delicate. I'm gonna put it down and we'll get a better view of it in a second. But I'm freaking out. This is so awesome. I can't believe we found this that soon. <laughs> I really can't get over this tooth. Fully rooted, worn down adult tooth. Oh my gosh, that's just amazing. That is so amazing. I'm trying to be really careful moving it around because a tooth this nice and delicate is something I do not want to mess up. I'm going to put it down. On this face you can see the root structure this is a one in a hundred trip tooth fully developed roots I really can't believe it and it is big it is as big as my hand this tooth is from an American Mastodon which is my favorite extinct animal they were giant elephants that were browsers and they lived in Florida during the Pleistocene on back to the Pliocene and almost even the Miocene, the early Zygolophodon. So they've been in Florida for millions of years. And they were the first species that was recognized as extinct by science. And they have such cool, unique, conical teeth. This tooth is just gorgeous. This day is beautiful. The river is amazing right now. I cannot be more thankful to have found this in the first 15 minutes of hunting today. I can't, I don't, I, there's nothing better I can find. Like, that's, that's insane. Thank you guys so much for joining me, too, and I hope you stay with me as we continue looking for cool stuff. But this tooth, like, I'm shaking. It's so nice. I'm freaking out. Oh, man, I'm gonna get back in the water and see if I can't find some more cool fossils, but that's just amazing. What a piece of history. Real quick before I get back in the water, I wanted to thank GoPro for sending me a replacement to the GoPro Hero 7 I broke recently, and a special thank you to Ace and Rika from the help department for helping that go smoothly. So, gonna get back in the water, let's find some more stuff. Here we go. That stretch right there was definitely interesting. There was a spot with some large megafauna bones eroding out, and it might be a good spot to catalog in my brain. Let's come back to to find some fossils, but there's one more, one or two more stretches that I want to surface collect before coming back here, and then I'm gonna do some more fanning to end out, to wrap up today, and then of course come back tomorrow for day two and find even more cool stuff out here. Whew. Let's get back to the river.
Definitely a couple good spots to come back to and fan later, maybe tomorrow. But I'm gonna get back over to where that Mastodon tooth was found earlier and do some fanning for the rest of today. See if I can't get some more stuff. So I know the reason I come out here is to look for these extinct animal fossils, but one of my favorite side effects is the fact that you get to spend so much time surrounded by actual nature. You don't have to look hard to see so many unique species of plants and birds and mammals out here. It's a really awesome place. I'm so lucky to have grown up in places like this. And I know how to look for and find hidden spots full of fossils and animals and cool memories. <sighs> Gonna get back to the fanning spot now and see if I can't get some more cool fossils from that little location. All right, made it back to the spot. Time to do some fanning and see if we can't find something else really cool. Oh wow, this thing is massive. That is a killer gator tooth. They vary in size, but this probably would have been at least a 10 footer. And at most, maybe a 14, 15 foot gator. Would not want to run into a sucker that big out here in the river though. That's fossil ivory for sure. Very cool. Yes, that is a sloth tooth. So, this is one of my absolute favorite species of extinct animal that used to live in Florida. This tooth belongs to a giant ground sloth, probably from the genus Paramylodon. They were actually pretty diverse back in the Pleistocene and into the Miocene. There are multiple species, with the biggest one being 14 feet tall at the shoulder and rivaling, rivaling mammoths in size. But this is a nice little front of the jaw tooth, um, equivalent to what you consider a canine. Look at that wear right here in the front. Awesome tooth. Really, really cool. Uh, ground sloth teeth don't actually have enamel. It's just dentine and cementum. But they really are cool tooth from a really cool animal. Chunk of jaw I just pulled out of the hole. Bone and stuff still coming out, but the sun's starting to go down, so I might have to wrap this up pretty soon. But it's still been a really good day one. Woohoo! Oh, that is sweet! That is so nice! That is a mastodon toe bone, and it is big, and it is in good shape. Nice, nice. What an absolutely awesome find to end day one. That is a complete mastodon toe bone and a very nice one at that. You can see the articulating surface here and the articulating surface here where they would have connected to the other toe bones. Huge bone. That is a toe bone, guys. And it is bigger than my hand. What an awesome fossil from one of the cooler extinct animals that used to be here in Florida. I am super happy to have gotten out here. Let's put that away from now and let's grab the best find from today. This fully rooted one in a thousand mastodon tooth. I can't really explain how rare and cool it is to find a tooth this quality with that good condition from an an American Mastodon. It's just, my hands are shaking thinking about how awesome and cool this tooth is. We also did get a great diversity of extinct animals. On the very left right here, we've got an extinct peccary tooth, followed by an extinct giant ground sloth tooth, a huge gator tooth from at least a 10 footer, an extinct horse tooth with great wear, giant armadillo osteoderm, 
and then just your normal fragments and pieces of bone. <sighs> I can say for sure though that it's been a really good day. I'm already excited to be coming back out here tomorrow, but for now I've got to get packed up, leave some gear, but hike out the rest, and then I'll be here tomorrow with hopefully a tank, and I'm going to find some more fossils. So, love these places, love to be able to explore and find awesome history out here. And I will be back tomorrow with you guys to find some more. So let's do it. All right, it's day two. I've spent the past couple hours hiking this scuba tank out here. And I am very excited to see what this is gonna help me find today. I can see the river coming up over the lip. And here we are, little slice of fossil heaven. I'm overheated and I'm gonna get in that water as soon as I can. Thanks for staying with this video and let's see what else I can grab. All right, here's our gear from yesterday, which means Miss Gorgeous, our beautiful little mastodon tooth, should be right here. There she is. Awesome, let's try to find another one of these today. I've still got about 200 to 300 yards to hike, but the next time you see me, I'll be jumping right in the river. This spot really didn't produce as much as it normally does. Some really nice tiger shark teeth and a killer camel tooth. But I've got one more spot to check out today. And after that, hopefully we'll have some cool fossils to end this two day hunting trip with. We have an awesome little gravel trap right here. And that's where I'm gonna be spending the next hour or two trying to find some more awesome pieces of history. So despite what amounted to be a huge pile of megafauna bones from Florida's extinct Ice Age animals, the only things that were really nice that came out of that spot were these two horse teeth and this incredibly large and in good shape alligator tooth. Would have been a mean sucker. The cool thing about this extinct horse tooth is that it actually has a, patho a pathology. If you look in the bottom, it's all curved and wicked. So this is from the lower jaw. So maybe this horse's lower jaw had some sort of injury or infection and it caused these weird curves and abscess. Regardless, I think that's a really cool tooth and that's definitely gonna go to the personal collection. 
I always feel so lucky to be able to go fossil hunting in Florida. This really is my happy place. But I have a ton of gear and a long hike out of here back to civilization. So thank you guys so much for joining me these past couple days as I explore in search of these fossils. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It means so much to the channel and what we're trying to do. So until the next video, take care guys.